श्रद्धे पूज्य श्री कमल नैनदास जी महाराज डंडी स्वामी जितेंद्रानंद सरस्वती जी महाराज पूज्य विश्व प्रसन्ना तीर्था स्वामी जी महाराज पूज्य स्वामी कृष्णानंद सरस्वती जी महाराज श्री माधवन बी नायर श्री शक्ति शांतानंदा महर्षि श्री राजशेखर नायर आई हैव रेफर टू द नेम्स हु आर सिटिंग ऑन द डाइस अदरवाइज द ऑल द पीपल हु आर अटेंडिंग दिस इवेंट इन देयर ओन राइट दे डिजर्व all our respect admiration and i offer my salutations my pranams to their lotus feet aapke sabhi ke charan kamlon mein mera pranam aur shraddha aur aadar i do not know in fact hari karta ji is sitting here he assisted me in raj bhavan when he informed me that this about this program so swami ji i do not know how to thank you you have i am really very sincere gratitude to you very sincere for your kind invitation and giving me this opportunity to be in the blessed presence of so many of our spiritual personalities adhyatmik jagat se aaye hue log it's a blessing for me aapka aashirwad chahiye और आपको एक बार फिर पढ़ना सिंस आई हैव बीन आई मीन देर इज नो वे आई कैन ट्राई टू गिव सम एडवाइस टू यू और काउंसिल यू नो नो वे वी सीक योर ब्लेसिंग्स we seek your guidance and we look towards you when we are in a moral crisis because it is only the capability of a person or a society or a nation everybody faces this crisis to overcome successfully that crisis and choose the right path that is the time when your help and your guidance is needed since this is the sammelan of sanyasis swami jitendranand saraswati ji maharaj is here from varanasi this function is being organized in kerala the birth place of adi shankaracharya so i think it would be appropriate if we try to learn the message the the essence of indian spirituality bhartiya adhyatmikta rather bhartiyata the spirit of sanatan what it is all about it is best to rely on the what to refer to an incident which happened in the life of jagat guru adi shankaracharya when he was staying in varanasi 
Early morning he went for bath. Those of you who have visited Varansi, now Varansi is changing. Changing not in any other sense, in the sense that the streets were very narrow. It was difficult for uh, few people coming from both directions uh, to cross uh, without touching each other. So Shankaracharya ji, after morning bath, he was coming back. And he saw at the corner of that narrow street a chandal with his five dogs. Many people here may not understand chandal. Chandal is the name of a caste who perform the last rites in Varans. Though sometime, at some point of time, they were considered outcast. But because of their profession, many of them were very wealthy. They had money and resources. So he was standing at the end of the, that street. Shankar saw him and when reached near, asked him, Gachati, Gachati, Gacho, Gachati. Remove yourself from the place you are standing because it is not possible to pass through without touching each other. Then the Chandal was from Varansi, as Swamiji has said, the cultural capital of India. And he had that Gyan. He asked Adi Shankaracharya whether I remove my physical body or I remove my Atma. What shall I remove? Sharir hataun ke Atma hataun. And Shankar, the proponent of Advaitvad, ahem Brahmasmi, Tattvamasi. The same Brahma dwells in me, same Brahma dwells in you. The prophet of that basic principle of Sanatan, that every human being has divine potential. Divinity is inherent. You consider yourself insignificant? No. You have the potential of being divine. The contribution of Sanatan values is that it has humanized the divinity and divinized the humanity. He fell on the feet of Chanda. He said, Brahme Vaha Midam Sat, Jagat Sakala, Chin Matra Vistaritam, Sarvam Chetad Vidyaya Tirgunaya Shesham Maya, Kalpitam Itham Yase Dirula, Nitya Pare Nirmale, Chanda Lostu Dui Jostu Guru Ritesha Matnisha Mam. One who has understood. One who has learned, one who has appropriated the understanding, the value that it is the same consciousness which pervades everybody. Isha vasse yet midam sarvam yat ki jaktiyam jagat. One who has re developed that understanding. That person is my guru, be he a chandal or the duij. This is the message of Sanatana. And it was not just in the spiritual field. No, keval adhyatmik chetra mein nahin. Ham jaisa ho ke liye ek jo sarvajanik jeevan mein jine thode samay ke liye satta shasan we are dressed with brief authority. Kya 
what beautiful expression to the sanatan principle rajyam narendra rase bhatase khetaka tayor pohe na bhato na raja what is the difference between the ruler and the watchman who is standing on his door i am sitting there as governor the security people are on the standing on the door what is the difference between them and me you remove the title of governor and you remove the clothes which i wear make us wear the same clothes then the governor and the watchman at the gate they are not different they are same and one this is the message which has been given during the period of our fall and decline we became victim of many things which i believe are contrary to sanatan values you know very interesting if i remember correctly i think it is in vivek chulamani when adi shankar was asked prashn pucha gaya who is entitled to salvation moksha ka adhikari kon hai and shankar adi shankar promptly replied purush matra sambandhi bhi anybody who has human element in him jiske andar manavta hai uska ye adhikar hai ki wo gyan aur moksha prapt kare koi bhed bhav nahi uska ye adhikar hai main gaur karta hu ka jo aap apni when you when you study your old books then what was the purpose of sanyas the purpose of sanyas was to attain liberation moksha liberation from human condition we'll go to forest we'll meditate do everything but sanatan has another beauty beautiful aspect dharma is not religion dharma is duty obligation kartavya with the change of times dharma also changes the same sanyasis the same saints the same sadhus people who later came from that tradition just now just now we have been informed that swami ji is running a big center for the welfare of the adivasis in maharashtra maharashtra in maharashtra why why what swami ji has got to do? if you go if you look at the ancient times i want to attain moksha i will retire into forest now swami ji becomes entitled to moksha by serving manav seva hi madhav seva hai you serve god by serving god's creation swami vivekanand ne to unhone to apna apne jo unhone sanstha banayi uska rakha hi hai atmano mokshartam jagat hitai cha now the moksha moksha will not be attained while you are living in forest by doing good to the people by through the institution of lok sangra lok kalyan if you do jagat hit jagat hitai ramaya jagat hitai krishnaya vande veena vinayako it is through serving the people and that is the reason today we see so many institutions all over india who are running them who do not own a pai except maybe rudraksh mala they do not own a pai 
but this country pandit madan mohan malviya used to say it that the donor is standing at every door let there be somebody who has the credibility to go and receive the donation this i my not my sentence this is what pandit madan mohan malviya used to say and never forget there is there, there are swami rangnath nanda has written four volumes the title of the book is eternal values for a changing society i am not in a position to uh, i don't know but i will attempt if you translate it into sanskrit or hindi or malayalam what it will say परिवर्तन शील समाज के लिए सनातन सिद्धांत दैट विल बी द्रांसलेशन एंड इन दैट बुक स्वामी रंगनाथ नंद लेमेंट ही एक्सप्रेस इज एंगर एंड सैडनेस ही कोर्ट्स फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम सरस्वती ज्ञान खल्व यथा सती ही सेज दैट इंडिया हैड दिस ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन वी वर दी वर्शिपर्स ऑफ मा सर सरस्वती बट ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ अवर डिक्लाइन एंड फॉल वी क्लोज द डोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज टू द मासिस एंड ही सेड दैट वी माइट हैव बीन गोइंग टू द टेम्पल ऑफ मा सरस्वती but actually we became villains of saraswati i personally feel that the people who are sitting here as i said earlier that today the realization is there that moksha is not in the forest moksha is in serving the god's creation this awakening is started coming in bengal ji se kehte hain renaissance of india about 150 years back in bengal then maharashtra then south and as swami ji said kerala is a society where there is 100% education very robust sense of equality and sense of dignity wherever in india it is lacking our sanyasis can show us the path they can guide us to become true worshippers of ma saraswati india's genius is tradition of knowledge and wisdom gurudev rabindranath tagore when he received nobel prize in 1926 may the person who receives the nobel prize has to make a a speech in reply to the honor which is has been conferred on him what beautiful sentence is he has said i wish i could call hari ji here to translate translate them but i think most people will understand he said to tell the audience to tell swedish people what he represents what his country that is bharat is identified with he said i love india mujhe bharat se agath prem hai not because i cultivate the idolatry of geography isliye nahi main ke main bhubhag ko murti ka roop dekar uski upasna karna chahta hu iske liye nahi not because i had the good fortune of being born in her soil iske liye bhi nahi ke mujhe mere acche bhag ke main is bhumi pe paida hua phir main kyun pyar karta hu main isliye pyar karta hu i love india because india has through tumultuous times 
save the living words which issued from the illuminated consciousness of her children bharat us gyan ki parampara ko surakshit karne mein kamyab raha hai visham tam paristhitiyon mein isliye main bharat se pyar karta hu mera pyar is karan se hamari parampara gyan ki parampara और ज्ञान भी कैसा कि हमारे ऋषियों ने कल्पना की आज हम बात करते हैं हमारी इच्छा है क्यों हम किताबों में पढ़ते हैं कि भारत विश्व गुरु था तो हमें हमें भी आज भी हमें होना चाहिए हम किताबों में पढ़ते वी रीड इन द बुक्स दैट इंडिया हैड दिस ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन ऑफ नॉलेज एंड विजडम बट अवर ऋषि अवर मुनीज दे हैव टोल्ड अस how you can because this is not a title this is not an upadhi this is a role bhumika which you have to perform and how you can you can attain that status the status can be attained etat desha parshu tasya sakasha dagraj anmana swam swam charitram shikshiran prithviyam sarvam anava India will be such a hub of knowledge that people belonging to different civilizations and cultures they will come to India to learn about their own traditions, about their own culture, about their own history. Bharat Gyan ka aisa kendra hoga jahan par vibhin sanskritiyon se sabbetaon ke log. अपनी संस्कृति और अपनी सभ्यता का ज्ञान हासिल करने के लिए भारत में आए इसका मतलब क्या हुआ वी विल हैव द काइंड ऑफ गुरुज गुरु अंधकार निरोधता एंड दोज हु आर सिटिंग हेयर दे आर नो लेस देन गुरुज वी इफ वी एक्सपेक्ट दैट द डार्कनेस विच वी फेस समटाइम many times you will help us in in overcoming it then i think it would be inappropriate i would like to conclude with a small story which again speaks highly which again rather high not the highly is on the right word which, un, which under the scores the significance of sanatan values the raj parivar the mother uncle auntie of yudhishthir after their rule is established pandavas are in power may after many years the uncle auntie and mother kunti and i think vidur also they decide to uh, go for one prast and ultimately sanyas go the pandav princes the king yudhishthir they try to cajole them persuade them to change their decision but they refuse and finally they leave the palace in bark clothes as was the custom after reaching some distance kunti looks at you stops the great character of mahabharat she stops looks at her sons and addresses yudhishthir nirvaswa kuru shresh bhim siya dibhi sa dharme te dhyatam buddhi man sate mahdastu cha you cannot continue journeying with us now you back go back to the capital because your duty is to run the administration for the welfare of the people lok kalyan lok sangra but while conducting the affairs of the state your buddhi must be your reason must be established in righteousness dharme te dhyatam buddhi man sate mahdastu cha and your heart 
and mind manas means both they should be big enough to accommodate everybody this was nothing but a reflection of a vedic dictate pashand negam shreni puga virat guna dishu sanrakshit samyam raja durgane dur raja durge janpade tatha which means that as far as the conduct of public affairs is concerned it is the duty of the ruler to provide protection to those pashand those who deny vedas negam those who believe and follow the veda or anybody this is i tell you this is the beauty of this sanatan sanskrit that on the basis of faith on the basis of belief no one is allowed to be discriminated against these are our eternal values and i am sure that this the deliberations here in this conference will show a way to us so that we can revive our eternal values लोका समस्ता सुखी नो भवंतु जय हिंद